First, take out of all items from the package. The package includes monitor, camera, DC power cord, monitor bracket, cigarette lighter adapter, antenna, T-taps and screws. Like my operation. Pick up the monitor. Install the antenna on the monitor. Take up the fan bracket. Loosen the screws. Clamp the bracket. Tighten the screws. Like my operation. Align the bracket with the bracket hole on the back of the monitor. Tighten the screws. The bracket can be operated flexibly. Tighten the screws. Pick up the camera. Take up the license plate. Align the camera bracket hole with the license plate screw hole. Fix the camera to the license plate with screws. The camera angle can be flexibly adjusted. Now we will demonstrate how to the windshield mount. Rotate the screw on the windshield mount. Like my way. Move the cube. Take up the back of the monitor. Slide the cube into the back of the monitor. Like my way. You can adjust the position you want. Tighten the screw. You can mount it on the windshield. Take up the power cord. Connect the power cord to the camera. Take up another power cord. Connect the power cord to the monitor. Now merge the two red wires. Then merge the two white wires. Take up the green connector. Use a tool to loosen the screw. The plus sign means positive, minus sign means negative. Insert the merged red wire into the positive plus slot of the green connector. Tighten the screws. Insert the merged white wire into the minus slot of the green connector. Tighten the screws. Then plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the green connector. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power. Press the red button. The red button lights up. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. Pick up the monitor. Pick up the camera. This is an automatic light sensor. Cover the camera with your hand and hold the automatic light sensor with your finger. You can see LED light. Like my operation, the testing finished. Now disconnected all the wires. The easiest way is connect the monitor to cigarette lighter outlet. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power. Press the red button. The image appears on the screen. The red wire is connected to the positive wire of the backup lighter tail light. The white wire is connected to the negative wire of the backup lighter tail light. Red means positive, white means negative. Cover the camera with your hand and hold the automatic light sensor with your finger. You can see LED light. Pick up the monitor. There are three keys down, M, menu, the plus. Press the up key to switch the CAM to channel. Press the up key again to switch the split mode. Press the up key again to switch the CAM1 channel. Press the down key to turn off the guidelines. Press the down key again to turn on the guidelines. Press the M key to enter the menu mode. Press the menu key again to enter the pairing. Now power off the camera, next quickly power on. The image appears on the monitor, means pairing is successful. Press the M key to enter the menu mode. Press the up or down key to switch the picture. Press the M key to confirm. 
Press the M key to select brightness. The icon turns red to indicate selection. Press the up or down key to adjust brightness. Press the menu key to confirm. The icon turns yellow. Press the up or down key to switch the contrast. Press the M key to confirm. Press the up or down key to adjust the contrast. Press the M key to confirm. Press the up or down key to switch the hue. Press the M key to confirm. Press the up or down key to adjust the hue. Press the M key to confirm. Long press the menu key to exit the current interface. Press the up or down key to switch the mirror flip. Press the menu key to confirm. There are four modes normal image mirror image. Vertical normal image vertical mirror image. Press the up or down key to switch image mode you want. Press the menu key to confirm. Press the up or down key to switch the system. Press the menu key to confirm. Press the M key to select the language. Press the up or down key switch language you want. Press the menu key to confirm. Press the up or down key to switch the D-E-L-A-Y-T-I-M-E. Press the M key to confirm. Press the up or down key to adjust the D-E-L-A-Y-T-I-M-E. Press the M key to confirm. Press the up or down key to adjust the S-C-A-N-T-I-M-E. Press the M key to confirm. Press the up or down key to switch the auto scan. Press the M key to confirm. Press the up or down key to turn on the auto scan. Press the M key to confirm. Long press the M key to exit the current interface. Long press the M key again to exit the menu mode. When scan appears on the screen, the monitor will automatically switch the camera channel. Press the menu key to enter menu mode. Press the up or down key to switch the system. Press the menu key to confirm. You can adjust the SCANTIME data to set the switching time of the camera channel. Press the up or down key to adjust the SCANTIME. Press the M key to confirm. Press the up or down key to switch the auto scan. Press the M key to confirm. Press the up or down key to turn off the auto scan. Press the M key to confirm. The monitor will not show scan. Long presses the M key again to exit the menu mode. The monitor will not automatically switch camera channels. Press the up key to switch the split mode. Press the up key to switch the CAN1 channel. Take out the short bracket camera. Another short bracket camera installation method. Power off the first camera license plate camera. Tear off the 3M sticker. Paste it on the camera bracket. Like my operation. Tear off the 3M sticker. Paste the 3M sticker in the middle of the license plate. The camera angle can be flexibly adjusted. Connect the power cord to the camera. The red wire is connected to the positive wire, the backup lighter tail light. The white wire is connected to the negative wire, the backup lighter tail light. Press the M key to enter the menu mode. Press the M key to enter the pairing. The CAM1 channel image appears on the monitor. This system can also add a second camera, RV license plate camera. Power off the short bracket camera. Take up the antenna. First unscrew the screw of the RV camera. Like my operation. Remove the camera bracket. Install the bracket to any position on the car. Like my operation. Fix the bracket to the car with screws. Repeat this operation until the installation is complete. Install the antenna on the second camera. Install the camera on a fixed bracket. Like my operation. Fix the camera and bracket with screws. Like my operation. Repeat the previous operation. Like my operation.
The camera bracket can be flexibly adjusted. Connect the power cord to the camera. The red wire is connected to the positive wire, the backup lighter tail light. The white wire is connected to the negative wire, the backup lighter tail light. Press the M key to enter the menu mode. Press the M key to enter the pairing. The image appears on the monitor. The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-taps. T-taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole. camera power cord. Plug the power cord into the second hole. Iron sheets. Clamp the iron sheet to the tap's bottom. 